Hello, my name is Mindy Schultz and this is my story. I think we all can agree that 2020 has had its fair share of challenges and trials, but one challenge in particular um, that my family encountered, we, we definitely didn't expect, and that was my cancer treatment that, um, that we were navigating during, during COVID. And so to make a long backstory short, cancer that um, was gone and hadn't shown any further signs of spreading actually returned and had spread to my lymph nodes in February of this year. So I had surgery in March to remove those lymph nodes and then in April started radiation and chemotherapy simultaneously um, so that the chemo could make the radiation stronger. Um, so going into treatment to say that we were anxious and scared and uncertain of the future is a big understatement and it just couldn't couldn't get my head wrapped around the situation. Um, the odds of me having this cancer in the first place are less than 1%. And so having that cancer during a global pandemic just seemed like something that, that wasn't supposed to happen. But um, a Bible verse that I have looked to often in the past, just because of how I'm wired, definitely rang true at this time as well and that is proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 which read trust in the lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding in all your ways know him and he will make your paths straight um, and so that kind of helped us to kind of put trying to understand on hold set that aside and think about next steps and God definitely showed his face as he always does and um, made some decisions for us <laughs> and made others really easy because of the environment due to COVID and um, just how things how things were at the time and so what I mean by that um, in particular is that I went to Mayo every day for treatment and um, the way that they were handling COVID only lent itself to benefit me in that they were cleaning everything really well you had to wear masks and they were checking temperatures at the door and anybody being treated for COVID was in a different building um, any non-essential or um, any any services that weren't urgent weren't being done at Mayo at the time and so there were a lot less people if we had to move or change an appointment it was a lot easier to do that um, and so we, we just felt really safe and it made our time there more convenient and um, we felt a lot closer with the doctors because they had less people that they <laughs> were interacting with on a daily basis and they they definitely felt like a part of our family and so that was was a huge blessing that we didn't necessarily expect or we didn't anticipate heading into treatment. Um, the next blessing was being able to stay with my in-laws in the Red Wing area throughout treatment that made our drive back and forth to Mayo a lot shorter and it also gave us time um, to be around family throughout treatment which was huge. And it also gave our one and three year old a lot of time with grandma and grandpa when mom and dad were at the hospital all day. And so that was, that was great. It was just um, a great experience and one that I'm very thankful for. And we feel so blessed that things worked out the way that they did because if we wouldn't have had them there, I don't know what we would have done because a lot of the lodging services around Mayo that most cancer patients can take advantage of were closed due to COVID. So it just really did work out for the best for us in that situation. So that was so great. Um, and we, like I mentioned, our daughters are one and three and that in and of itself was a blessing and that they're so young and they were so adaptable when we were going back and forth 
um, the first couple of weekends we would come home and they were just able to go back and forth so seamlessly and um, and they really adapted well to living at grandma and grandpa's house for several weeks um, and since they were able to be with us every day um, my outward appearance changes were so gradual and to where they really didn't know what was going on so that that was a blessing that they were impacted minimally by the whole process um, and last but definitely not least um, a, a big blessing was just all of the virtual resources that we had because of COVID but um, since we were in the Red Wing area and we weren't at home it was so great to have the 1025 series and those recordings to look to and feel like we had a piece of home with us and the messages of those recordings while they were um, you know like geared towards anxiety uncertainties fear of death and all of those those things and, and why that, that shouldn't be a fear because of the promises that God has made to us and, you know, like navigating all of those thoughts while that apply to anyone and everyone um, because of COVID, it, it very specifically applied to me and it was such a comfort to hear those things and it was exactly what I needed to hear when I needed to hear it most. Um, so that was huge. And I remember Pastor Paul saying in one of the messages that um, he was saying that he was getting up in the middle of the night with anxious thoughts and that he was, you know, using that time instead of worrying to look to God and to talk to God. And it was just such an aha moment for me because I was waking up in the middle of the night, whether it was because of medications or whatever, but, and it was really difficult to get back to sleep. And it was so easy to let my mind spiral about what was going to happen the next day or what would happen the next week or what this number meant or what this medication would do. And I thought back to what Pastor Paul said and I was like, I need to do that. I, I need to use that time and be talking with God, do something productive with that time instead of letting my mind spiral out of control. And that was, that was really big for me um, to kind of incorporate that practice into something that was so applicable to me and rele relevant for me. Um, so I'm just so thankful that I heard that and was able to apply that to my specific situation and that it helped so much. So, like I said, I could go on and on about the various blessings and the people that were put in our path, whether it was the receptionist that always remembered my name or, um, you know, like the various friends and family members that reached out and were helpful and provided encouraging words when I needed them most. Um, so many blessings were sprinkled throughout this journey and it really was ultimately a positive experience. One that I, I never would have thought would have been as positive as it was. So um, I definitely know that coming out of cancer treatment, coming out of COVID coming out of 2020, I am changed forever and I am so glad that I am. This is how God has been at work in my life. This is my story and I look forward to hearing yours.